from the Matrix, possibly existing in RuneScape, to finding out what really is underneath the wise old man's bed, we count down 10 more interesting facts about RuneScape. Number 10. Have you ever wondered what really is underneath the wise old man's bed? It has been confirmed by Mod Ash back in 2010 on the forums that what is actually under there is in fact a goblin. It was originally meant to be a normal goblin wandering around his bedroom, but he states that the GFX guys thought it would be funnier to put it under his bed. The wise old man also foreshadows this to be true, due to him stating that he assumes whatever is actually under there is hiding from the ham members, and everyone knows that the ham members' number one enemies are goblins. Number 9. The Nomad's Temple This vast underground area underneath Soul Wars can be found by investigating the Nomad's Tent during the Nomad's Requiem quest in RuneScape 3. Did you ever notice that the last three chambers of this temple appear to spell the word God when viewed on the minimap? Number 8. So everyone knows that you can't actually out gold coins in RuneScape because they're already made of gold, right? Well then what the hell are gold bars made of if you're not supposed to be able to out items that are already made of gold? Is GP and RuneScape magical somehow? Or are gold bars really not made of actual gold? Number 7. When you ask Zeke in Alcarid if he'll sell you a dragon scimitar, he tells you that the banana brain nitwits that make them would never allow him to sell them. He continues on to say that you literally will be a monkey's uncle before ever getting a hold of one, which is quite funny because in the Monkey Madness quest that you must complete to be able to wield one of these scimitars, you have to pose as a monkey's uncle for a short amount of time. Number 6. You can't bank at closed bank booths, right? Well, in South Artie Bank, there's a closed bank booth that you can actually bank at. All you have to do is simply click the bank option on the clerk there and voila, you're officially banking at a closed bank booth. Number 5. It's interesting how you can't bring so much as gloves to Entrana, the land of the monks, due to their non-hostile or violent beliefs, yet you can bring a freaking bazooka or a knife with you if you want, but then again, I'd probably not argue with someone holding a bazooka either. Number 4. Have you ever noticed that all of the Barrows brothers in RuneScape don't just wear their own specific Barrows armor, but also wear a pink Legends cape too, apparently? I really had never noticed this before. Number 3. Whenever you're training agility at the Brimhaven Agility Course, you can dodge poison darts when they're shot at you by one of the obstacles there. The dodging animation and the little cutscene that occurs can only mean one thing. Your character has figured out what the Matrix actually is, even within RuneScape. Number 2. In the fourth development diary for the skill Summoning when it was in the process of being released and made, the title of it was called Episode 4 A New Hype. This is a direct reference to the Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Wow, there's actually a lot of Star Wars references in RuneScape. Number 1. At Catherby Bank, the Clock Tower, and in East Arty, all of the clocks are literally stopped at the time 10.04. This could possibly be a reference to the 1985 movie called Back to the Future, in which the clocks above the courthouse within the movie is stopped at that exact same time too. That's it for this countdown, and if you know what I should be counting down next, post it in the comments and let's make it happen. Also, before the video ends, I'd just like to tell you guys that I made a Twitter account for those of you that wanted me to do it. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can look in the description and you will find the link there. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will talk to you all later.